Hi, everyone. So this is the Test Taking Strategies Workshop. Thank you so much for uh, coming. Um, please do make sure to um, fill out the uh, office form in order to uh, have credit that you did attend this workshop. Um, it is more than welcome um, for you guys to um, sign up. So my name is Laura Sapero. Um, I'm a tutor here at the Hialeah campus at the writing table. Um, this is my email. If uh, any of you uh, need to uh, keep in contact with me uh, for any kinds of questions regarding um, any upcoming uh, exams, it could be something that's for computer science, uh, for government, and it could be for uh, English. Please feel free to jot down my email so we can chat afterwards. So in this workshop, we're going to be reviewing some strategies on taking tests, um, how to manage uh, an, any kinds of uh, worries or um, anxieties regarding uh, test taking, and for the most part, having to get a positive mindset uh, because that's just key in order to um, get over that kind of anxiety. So there's going to be two outcomes. Uh, first, we're going to go over some techniques in order to help prepare you to take uh, these tests and also how to manage uh, anxiety uh, through, through the means of um, positive affirmations and also how to meditate and to calm those nerves. So it's pretty standard. It, um, just before you take an exam, um, it is imperative that uh, you take time to uh, schedule some time to study. Um, it could be for any kind of subject. It could be something that is very nuanced. So it's up to you to have the responsibility in order to um, set time aside to get well with the content. Um, it could be for something that is science-based or math-based. Um, it could be for English. It could be for, for any kind of subject. And um, you can also make a study guide. Um, at least with my experience, I would often do some index cards uh, if I had to kind of memorize what what kinds of terms I, I had to be, um, I had to know about. And um, if by any chance you have any kind of resources to practice for an exam, um, I believe there are in the um, in the test taking offices, there are probably some sample tests if you have to be um, a certified um, course that you have to take. Um, they can give you some sample test or you can search online for some sample test to just help you out on where you need to um, learn more about certain segments of the content or which are more favorable for you. So first off, um, it's pretty important to talk with your um, instructors. So what kinds of questions will this um, instructor have on the um, exam? Is it written? Is it something that you have to say out loud? Um, so also you should ask about what kinds of, um, what is the content that you need to look at? Um, more often than not, there's going to be some trick questions um, that you may have to actually um, see, like, which ones are actually relevant to the content or uh, which uh, that may possibly um, need you to really think over what the question is saying. Um, really, really read through those questions because um, it could be something like... Uh, like not or uh, accept or something like that. And those those key words are going to really determine what the answer uh, will be with regards to that question. Um, and also, if you have to um, write an essay, um, be very familiar with how much you want to elaborate 
on that content uh, itself. Um, but also, more, more often than not, you're going to have to know how much weight that exam will be in, um, just so you know um, how much you have to actually uh, get to know that content. So there's a bunch of different kinds of questions. There's, there's going to be true or false, multiple choice, or an essay that you have to write in, uh, in class. So just know that, let's say, if this is like a speech class, um, you're probably going, going to have to write a lot before having to uh, say your speech out loud to the class or having to actually record um, your your speech on video. If it's something that is just uh, a multiple choice, be aware on how to properly study for that. It's probably going to be something that is um, more memory-based. Um, so just go over all of those chapters in order to really understand, um, you know, what is true and what is not. Um, and also, as, as said before, there's going to be some kinds of questions that are going to say like some options like both or neither or um and you're gonna have to really really read through that those questions in order to avoid any kinds of uh absolutes unless the question does uh need to be answered in a in a way that either answers for both or for neither of those options So for multiple choice, um, read through the question first, as always. Um, also, read through the choices. Really, really read through them. Um, and if, let's say, like, there's a fill in the blank, um, try to read through every option and see which one fits best. And um, you can always uh, scratch out any kind of answer that is not... Um, actually part of the question in order to really uh, see which answer is more possible to answer for that question. So for the true or false, uh, once again, typically for true or false, there's going to be um, like a statement. So you're going to have to either agree or or disagree. So look at um, important details like dates or facts. And um, also for true or false, the way that the statements would be written, uh, they're probably going to be uh, read in absolutes. So look at like all, all capitals are um, um, in or or rather, let's say like, in every state, there is a capital. So you would either have to say like true or false. And um, also look out for any kind of um, negative um, ap uh, absolutes, such as, you know, not or never uh, or, or even neither as well. And um, for an essay, like a final essay, um, Look at the prompt. What is the question asking? Um, and also get to really know what the prompt is saying with regards to the content of that class. Um, it's always standard um, just to get all your uh, ideas across to just outline what you have and to build like a skeleton structure. Um, answer what the thesis uh or, or rather, what is your thesis about, um, either in in favor or against your thesis? Um, so, also write very neatly. If it's like if it's a um, in in person uh, essay, and um, here it says write on one side of the paper, leave back side for some points. So, yeah, that would be more in the planning stage. So. Um, you can also do like a Cornell note, um, like a strategy for that. So like either you, you can do like um, like the body paragraphs and then you can see which one has 
more material for you to work with um, in order to um, have a more favorable, um, elaborate essay. Um, so yeah, so please sleep. Um, you have to sleep because if you don't, um, you're not going to properly think. Um, like you can possibly pass it, but why, why, why would you risk it? Um, go ahead, get your eight hours of sleep. Um, and also, um, eat, eat healthy. Um, don't stay past your bedtime watching videos and such that have nothing to do with the content, uh, itself. Also, don't cram. Um, it's better if you just time yourself in order to properly study for the content. Um, just do like half hour, uh, like a study time, and then just take a break, review, walk, get some sunlight, and then study again. Um, you can also um, you can also get with like a group of people who are studying for the same thing and like share um, ideas and things that will help you um, kind of recognize what kind of content you 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 have to know. Um, keep your area clean. Um, don't be distracted. Turn off your phone. Um, and also. Um, just focus on what on what you have to study for the most part and on time as well. So during the test, get to class on time. No one wants to arrive late to an, a, an uh, exam because that means that there's going to be less time for you to do the exam properly. So just relax, focus on the question. Uh, what is the question saying? And if you can't figure out what the question is saying, just skip it and go back once you're done um, and do the best that you can. It's probably just going to be like, I from from the four um, options, there's going to be like a 25 um, chance that you'll get it right. And then once you scratch out the ones that are not going to, be right, you'll have like a better chance for it to, you know, get the right answer. Breathing. Um, you know, just, it's just an exam. Um, I know that some exams are much more important to take, um, but there's always another uh, chance for you to take the exam if you fail. So if anything, you might as well just um, just relax, just breathe, um, talk to people who are taking the the, the exact same um, exam, and you'll find that um, you're not like alone. Um, and you can meditate, you can, you know, walk, exercise. It's just a test. And uh, yeah, positive self-talk. Um, everyone is capable of passing an exam uh, regardless of the content. So always um, have a positive mindset about what your capabilities are um, so that you know that you're able to handle this kind of exam or even like a, a, a paper uh, itself. Um, because it's almost like half the battle of um, needing to perceive yourself. Oops, let's go back. In order to um, see yourself like actually passing this exam, um, everyone is capable and you're not alone. There's a bunch of resources that you can get from the from the learning resources um library there's um instructors there's peers that can help you um there's always some kind of support and um that's just important to help you uh pass a class and um this goes back to having to sleep properly 
plan your time. Um, just look at the content that you have to review and um, see how much time you, you actually need in order to properly study. And um, but also, let's say like y- you only have like an hour to complete an exam. Uh, just pace yourself uh, with with regards to the questions. Um, and um, if you do need accommodations, uh, you should speak with your um, instructor to uh, set aside some time for for you um, as well. And um, yeah, it's just a matter of pacing yourself. Once again, read all all the questions and answers. Um, and also, you can underline, you can highlight, you can jot down some notes next next to the question. Um, obviously, don't do that if there's like a like a answer sheet that's just just to fill out and to bubble in. You can definitely write on the test unless the teacher says otherwise. So if by any chance you do finish before time is up, take advantage and review the test again. Look over your questions about what um, all the answers that you had to answer and just double check that you feel okay with the answer that you are submitting for read everything consider everything some some of the times you know some questions may actually um intersect with others and maybe you'll you'll realize that um one answer well no one question is probably going to help you answer the other question uh as well so the test is done that's over. And then now you can just think about what happened in the test, um, how you felt. Um, If you feel the need to speak with your instructor again, with regards to the exam, um, hopefully they can make some note of that. And um, if you feel like you still have to um, improve in some areas with 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 um, the content, just Book an appointment with us and um, we'll help you out in any kind of subject. So, yeah, um, just see how you felt with the exam. Um, what is it that you feel like you could have done better? Um, it it could still be like with the content, how, how you study, uh, because there's a bunch of um, techniques that you can study with, like in, um, index cards, uh, a group. It could be with a tutor. Uh, it could be any kind of technique that um, will, if you know that you can do like the index card technique, you can you, you can use that again uh, to help you um, pass the test. So, here are some things that can happen. So let's say like the night before a major exam, you realize there's an amount of of content that you haven't uh, read. You feel uh, very overwhelmed by how much information that you uh, have, have to study and there's uh, basically there's no time. What steps would you take to actually um, know what the concepts are that you have to review for the the, uh, actual exam? So I would advise um, just look at your syllabus and uh, know what what you have to study for. Let's say like it's an exam and you uh, for for like a final or let's say like just for uh, a midterm, let's say. Just study whatever you have covered in that class and don't go um, overboard. Um, and also um, try to read like the summaries at the end of the, sh- of the chapter, let's say, if you have uh, very little time. Um, and also this goes back to the um, other scenario. 
let's say that you have some formulas for chemistry and there's no time during the exam. Uh, there's two questions left to answer. You'll, you only have 10 minutes. Uh, what are two strategies to manage your time effectively? So considering that it is chemistry and you have to know about the formulas and um, how to like structure um, like the elements and everything, um, just go back and see if there is some kind of hint with other other questions um just read through the question and really understand what it's asking you um in order to um properly answer it um, so for the multiple choice so yeah this is for calculus so you've narrowed it down to two options but but you can't choose time is ticking what strategy will you use to make an educated guess and move on to the next question? Um, so yeah, if there is a formula for calculus, um, do that. All you have to do is just to plug it in and um, you can kind of see where the answer is going to be. Uh, just, just double check your math. And um, lastly, if there is a question that seems very straightforward at first, uh, but there are is a a nuance to the wording um how do you approach this question and what steps would you take to take the most accurate um response once again read through everything look at the look at the uh answer choices and um see which one fits best and um that's pretty much it Okay, so um, yeah, thank you so much for attending this workshop. Um, it is mandatory to please fill out this form in order for us to uh, give credit that you did uh, attend this workshop. So please just take a moment to uh, scan the code or this link. And um, we would also like you to take this survey in order to um, get some feedback on this workshop. Um, please give us any kind of insights, any any kind of feedback uh, in order to uh, help you guys get other workshops that you guys are more interested in. And um, lastly, this is a code for us. Uh, this is um, a full list of our workshops. So. If you are interested to know more about our other workshops, just go ahead and click uh, this link. And um, yeah, if anyone has any questions, please let me know. And um, thank you so much for attending and we look forward to seeing you. And if you need any kind of help, please uh, just go to the learning resources um, library and we'll help you out. Thank you so much, everyone.